The paper is fo focused on understanding the role of glutamate receptors in Huntington's disease, and to do so, we've crossed two mouse models. One is a, a mouse that doesn't have glutamate receptors, so it's been knocked out genetically, and the other overexpresses the mutant Huntington protein in the mouse locus, so it overexpresses the human Huntington protein. And the mouse model recapitulates some of the aspects of Huntington's disease that's seen in Huntington's patients, such as the formation of aggregated mutant Huntington protein in the nucleus. And what we found is if we knock out MGLUR5, we lose these aggregates and we get an improvement in some of the motor behaviors that we observe in these mice, which are normally impaired in, in, in the mutant mice. The other thing that quite, was quite a surprise is we found that if we block MGLUR5, which is a glutamate receptor that we're interested in, the mice become hyperlocomotive, so they become able to move better than the wild-type mice, which suggests that maybe glutamate receptors might be a good target for treating movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease. So that was a bit of a surprise that came out of the study. We could show that both genetically and pharmacologically. And, and the nice thing is right now there are MGLUR5 antagonists that are in phase 3 clinical trials for diseases such as Fragile X. So it's quite possible that these drugs will be available to patients in the future and the doctors will be able to see whether or not they have some sort of clinical benefit.